On this video I'm going to show you the refactory engine which is a new feature of uh, Delphi for PHP next release. Uh, let's uh, start by creating a simple unit and writing a class. This is very simple code but is useful for you to see uh, how the refactoring works. You can access uh, refactoring using the the context menu of the code editor, or using the uh, menu on the main me menu bar. So it's exactly the same. Um, there are several options uh, you can do depending on the uh, item or the uh, token uh, you click. For example, in this case, we can rename this class to, for example, my new class. Uh, this will show all the references and all the changes uh, the refactoring will perform on the source code. So this is the operation, and uh, the refactoring what it's going to do is to uh, modify this line to change the class name, and also it detects where all the creation of uh, that class uh, is performed so also changes the the creation of it uh, to apply the refactoring just click on this button and you see uh, the code has changed there are many rename operations you can perform for example if we create here a method and then you use it for example you can also rename my method to a different thing let's delete this one and you can see these are the lines that are going to be changed by the refactoring apply and this one is changed uh, this also works uh, on all the files that uh, are grouped together and in CLAD using uh, required ones and, and things like that. So uh, here you will see all the files that uh, will be changed and what is going to be changed on each file. So you can decide to, to perform the refactoring or not. Uh, you can perform things like, for example, the declare field my new field select the visibility here and this is done this is very handy when you have a, a big uh, class and you don't need to go to to the top to to declare that uh, new field uh, another interesting thing is that for example if you have a method and you write code inside mm, for example plus 10 this plus 10 this is just simple code you can select a piece of code and perform e extract method here you you select uh, the name of the new method, torrent method, and here is the, for example, it detects that the param one is going to be used after the the piece of code, so it's passed as a reference. So you click, and you see here the changes performed. So this is the new method with the uh, code uh, you have selected and it's replaced by a call to that method so this is a, a very nice way of uh, organize your code and uh, refactor it also another feature is that you can change the parameters for example my new method is used here and we are going to change the parameters add a new one uh, new param here you have all the types you can use. Remember in PHP 5 you can use types on your parameters. Um, 
if those uh, parameters are, are going to be of uh, object type. So you can, for example, go here and the list is filter. These are all the types, the predefined types of uh, PHP extensions and all the types you have on your uh, on your application. For example, I, I'm not going to add uh, anyone. Here it is. Um, delete this one. And here is what is going to be changed. It's going to change the declaration of the method and also it's going to add a, a comma to the uh, call of the method so you don't forget uh, you need to add a, a parameter there. So apply and then we get the um, error here because uh, you need to add a new parameter so uh, the code is not broken. Um, another feature uh, very useful for refactoring is to extract interfaces for example um, with this window you can select uh, which uh, members of uh, the class you want to extract and here you select the name of the new interface. Okay. And what this is going to do here is simply add those lines to create the interface based on your class declaration. So apply and here is your new interface. So you can now new class implements e my interface. Uh, also you can use this feature to make a, a new thing which is uh, as extract super class so maybe you can uh, isolate um, some things on, on a base class and there is no need for you to, to do all that process by hand super class, you select uh, which uh, members you want to to place there delete this uh, refactoring get a bit more space here and what it's going to do is to delete all the the members we have uh, selected change the the ancestor of the the class to our new superclass and create the superclass with all the functionality and implementation uh, we need so apply the refactoring and now we have our super class. My new class now extends super class. So we can now do things like this. Another class extends super class. Because we have isolated that and we can uh, do another code. And finally, there is a feature that allows you for example to pull members down or up on the uh, on the tree of the classes you have on your application in this case we have selected the super class so uh, and because it, it hasn't any ancestor the only operation we can do is to pull push members uh, down again this is the same window and we have two options to push those members down uh, these are the 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 child classes that inherit from the super class and we need to select to which class are going to push uh, those members in this case we are going to push everything to my new member class delete this refactoring and this is the push member down the file and this is all the lines we are going to add and delete to perform the refactoring so now my new class has all the functionality and also we can perform a push pull members up to perform the backward operation so if we had a, a bigger tree here of uh, inheritance we can move uh, methods between classes very very easily so as you can see this this feature is very powerful allows you to organize and refactor all your source code uh, in a very nice way so uh, I think this is it I hope you like it
Okay, bye.